Hi everyone, it's Paul Bertarelli reporting from beautiful Palm Springs, California, where the Aircraft Electronics Association is having its 62nd annual convention, and where Garmin introduced something we thought we'd never see again, the standalone GPS navigator. In fact, there are two of them. The one on the left is the GPS 175 with color touchscreen navigation, including LPV approaches and all kinds of autopilot interfaces. It'll retail for $49.95. The one on the right is the GNX 375. At $79.95, it's the same as the 175, except it also has ADS-B in and out. Because, well, even your iPhone has ADS-B in and out. And speaking of iPhones, both of these new navigators have the Bluetooth-based connects, so they'll talk to the apps on tablets and smartphones. How great is that? We wired up Jessica Koss and she's going to tell us. So with the GPS 175 and GNX 375, Garmin's really addressing the need for a cost-effective standalone GPS navigator, especially for aircraft owners that have a completely suitable navcom. They can add these economically um, and receive even more capability into the cockpit, such as LPV approach it. The six and a quarter inch wide and two inch tall form factor also is a nice addition because it makes it easy to incorporate into the cockpit. And the user interface has been optimized not only for the size of the screen, but also across other Garmin products such as Garmin Pilot and the GTN 650 and the GTN 750. So if customers or pilots have used those products, they'll be able to get into this user interface either in the 175 or the 375 and feel really comfortable using it. So let's take a look at the user interface of the GNX 375, which is eerily similar to the GTN 650 and 750 and even Garmin Pilot. So for customers or pilots that have used those products, they'll find this user interface very familiar. The moving map page, we can use pinch to zoom gestures, and we can also use the dedicated knob for those who feel a little bit more comfortable using that gesture. A dedicated traffic page is unique to the 375 because it has an integrated ADS-B in-out transponder, which we'll take a look at here in just a second. Similar to the moving map, we can use pinch to zoom, zoom gestures as well as a dedicated knob, dedicated terrain page, the FISB weather page, and on here, we can enable NEXRAD, METAR, and other weather features available through FISB or ADS-B in weather. The nearest function can direct you to the nearest airport, intersection, VOR. In this case, the nearest airport is here, and we can even do direct to navigation from here. Of course, our flight plan page, again, looks nearly identical to the GTN series as well as Garmin Pilot. We can build our flight plan. System page, this is where we can set up our Connext utilities. So this is where we would pair our iPad with Garmin Pilot so we can enable wireless flight plan transfer to and from both the GNX 375 and the GPS 175. The GPS 175 and the GNX 375 are Connext enabled, which means they support wireless flight plan transfer to and from compatible mobile devices running Garmin Pilot. Here within the GNX 375, you can see we don't have a flight plan. But when we jump over to our iPad and send our flight plan that we've already planned out, let's say at home before arriving to the airport, you get a flashing message button. And it allows us to preview the flight plan, which is from Palm Springs to New Century Air Center back in Kansas City. We have the option to store the flight plan or activate it. For this, we'll activate it. And we've got our activated flight plan already in with the GNX 375. With the GPS 175 and GNX 375 announcement, we've also rolled out a free trainer app that's accessible on the Apple iTunes store. In this app, you can add airspeed and ground speed and really interface with the system almost in the same 
fashion you would with the product right in front of you. So not only can you explore the user interface, but also get comfortable with it. Now Garmin is ready to rock and roll on both of these. They say they're going to be ready to ship in April, and you can see both of them at Sun and Fun next week. For AvWeb, I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting. Thanks for watching.